ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I talk today about the score for Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 by Andrew Scott Bell. What a magnificent soundtrack this is. I loved the score for the first film and this expands and deepens that legacy. Bell has a knack for not only putting his own stamp on the horror genre but also kind of respecting what makes it such a popular genre to begin with. Yes, many scores can have slashing strings, bubbling contrabassoon, if you think of Alien 3, but it takes a little bit more, something extra just to bring it out. It was quite late in this score that um, a theme from the first film um, reappears in uh, a little boy and his bear will always be playing. There's this da 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 And I love that theme. It's just, <laughs> it stayed with me ever since I first heard it. It had, there was a chance that it could have been overwrought, but he struck just the right balance between it being poignant and just having that confidence to come across with the state of making it momentous and it's it's really quite something and in many ways you know like a lot of low budget horror soundtracks out there if you think of Scarecrows by one of my all-time favorites Terry Plumery there's something to be said for a composer who will maybe if they don't have the budget they can create ideas that are just very organic and once again the violin which was taken from a beehive is in this. There's a bear cello and some other familiar elements but a lot of this is done, most of it's done by Bell himself and you just think to yourself wow what you're able to achieve you know less is more. I love this score and I think it's now the front runner even though we're still like late March going into this season of um, film music but I think Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 which I give 5 out of 5 stars will be my favourite score of the year it's going to take some beating it was only by a nose that the very first um, Winnie the Pooh soundtrack was beaten to the punch last year by Dario Vero's Mavka the Forest Song but that's to take nothing away from Bill who ingeniously blends his own horror ideas with those that are well known and familiar and just makes it seem fresh all over again. For more film and soundtrack reviews please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook you can find my pages Hypnotic Movie Reviews, Book Reviews and Soundtrack Reviews. I'm Richard Jack Smith, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.